welcome to the journey again so we started of our journey with exodus 23:20 and also we discussed about the lord bringing the children of israel against a uh, certain uh, inhabitants of uh, of of israel of the land on their journey and the lord said that the angel my angel go before you and into the amorites the hittites the perizzites and the canaanites and the hivites and the jebusites and the lord also gave them the commitment and of the conviction that he will utterly cut them off so in our past sessions of discussion we discussed about the the uh, crippling effects of the hittite spirit and also we discussed about the creeping effects of the amorite spirit how does uh, how the amorite spirit slowly creeps in into our lives and creates certain environment a uh, healthy for hittite spirit to dwell in and that both working together happens to make our lives a such a miserable time So today we'll talk about the third spirit that Exodus 23 23 talks us about is the parasite spirit. So what is the parasite spirit? I when I read about the parasite spirit the first thing that came to my mind as the Lord flashed in my in my inward mind is the parasite. Actually it is the parasite spirit is like a parasite. A parasite which clings through an unguarded opening in your life and starts eating your life off the lord put a lovely picture about a leech a leech as you are walking you wear your shoes you wear your socks in between your trousers and the socks if there's an unguarded space of skin the leech creeps into that quickly bites into the skin and starts sucking your blood out no matter however much you think that okay you have to be guard this parasite spirit or the parasite spirit seeks this unguarded openings of our lives if we are not conscious and careful to guard ourselves properly with the word of the lord so these israelites would have walked through the city of the parasite having overcome amorites about the murmuring spirits having overcome the hittites the fear and also now they come to a parasite a parasite land of parasites so they are now fortified having overcome hittites and amorites they have overcome it. the lord has you know cut it off and utterly destroyed them and they are now come to a certain complacent certain plateau of parasite land and they are tired and also they are victorious and they would consider themselves a little bit complacent it's okay to relax a little bit and in our lives isn't it true that we also go through a similar situation that after a huge warfare after that we have overcome fear and now after that we have overcome a uh, complaint and we are very strong and sometimes when the lord takes us to the next level the spiritual realm we tend to take a certain uh backward stance and try to relax and during this time of rest and relaxation there are certain doors in our lives that we keep open unguarded it's like you're going to sleep keeping your doors open you may have closed your front door the side door but we have or the back door we may have kept a certain window open so the enemy or the thief can come in kill destroy and steal from you. so this is what the parasite spirit is all about the parasite always seeks an unguarded opening in our lives so what does the lord say about killing this spirit and identifying this spirit first of all we need to understand what are the unguarded areas against the word of god in our lives what are the areas that we have left unguarded it could be internal as well as external so let's delve into our internal self first to understand 
what are the areas that we have spiritually allowed the devil to attack us through one is the connection with the lord is weak to understand to hear his word the time that we spend with the bible is the holy holy word the time we dedicate ourselves on the bible to read and to get revelation connect with the holy spirit we give it a second fiddle and we uh you uh, often consider bible reading as a secondary thing not a priority priority is our worldly chores the work that we do responsibilities roles and responsibilities and all but that creates a certain crack in our spiritual shield the time that we spend with the word is less and less the more the shield gets thinner and thinner and the crack is more visible so the devil can always creep in from such a uh, such a uh, crack so when our word the strength of our word is lesser and weaker our spiritual guard is also weaker that's when a parasite or a parasite creeps in without your knowledge When you are not fortified with the word of the Lord automatically false teaching people those who dissuade you and persuade you with their flowery language and of the worldly uh affluence will creep into your life and convert your life or make you or convince you that that is the life that which the bible talks about it's very easy because that you have let your guard down and without you even without your knowledge even sometimes you might even fall prey into these parasite spirits so how do we identify it it's sometimes very subtle like the amorite and the hitite spirit as well at least the hitite spirit you get the fear of us as a thrill runs through your body and you identify it. amorite spirit you can identify it. you can identify a person who is with an amorite spirit who keeps on murmuring and complaining and also the internal voice the negative voice that works against the word of the lord we can identify it through our practice but parasite you will not see the leech until the leech grows bigger and suck most of a good portion of your blood of your of your leg and your leg continues to bleed of the teeth of the leech and you will not notice the leech it's a very very uh sometimes not only one leech several leeches clinging on to you and sucking your blood even without your knowledge so it's very subtle and it's very important to identify it at the root itself my brother so that is why the lord says in first john 5 was chapter 5 verse 21:3 the word of the lord exerts exhorts us little children keep yourself from idols there's another area to keep our God intact. And the Lord exhorts our little children. So we are like little children. Just we do not know anything. We are like babes or the nappies. Keep ourselves from idols. Idols are many in our lives which create certain cracks in our spiritual shield and makes us weak. We may idolize a vehicle I used to idolize vehicles in my life. We may idolize certain doctrines. We may even idolize your health, your body. You may even idolize human beings. You may idolize uh any material or immaterial things. But if anything that works against the word of God as the word has said, you will not idolize anything except believe totally in the word of the Lord. So, anything that which our lord god has said is not for us to idolize you should not and allow a crack to and also we may give in to the practices of people those who follow or pursue idols like partaking in food that which belongs to the idol just been sacrificed to the idol 
partaking in certain events which the holy spirit would warn you against that not to go that uh inculcate certain practices or religious practices cultural traditional practices which points at certain idol worship so if we do that consciously or even sometimes it becomes an unconscious engagement for us so those are cracks where that we keep open for parasite spirit to come into our lives and start eating our lives away and also for peter chapter 5 verse 8 the lord said be of sober spirit be sober be vigilant be mindful mindful of the leech that when you are walking because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour the very strong word here that the lord exhorts us and invites us to by is the lord says that be very sober and vigilant always be on alert when a country is at war the armed forces of that country even when the country is not at war the armed forces of the country is always vigilant the fire brigade is always sober they are not drunk they are vigilant ready to bounce into action whenever there is a need but the word of the lord tells us to go a little bit step beyond that be sober in spirit always with the word of the lord seeking what the holy spirit would impart to us the lord in the 11th hour on the last hour will come and warn us and give us direction that's in the bible and be vigilant that means be on alert understand where about of your of your going in or going out and coming in because your adversary is like the devil who walks about like a roaring lion but lord jesus on the day that he was on the night he was betrayed he said the devil comes he will find nothing in me that belongs to him such should be our prayer as well when the devil comes when he walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour let there not be any cracks in our lives that the parasite spirit has crept in so the devil can enter as well and destroy our lives so let us guard ourselves my brothers and sisters let us pray father in the name of jesus we pray that help us to identify be conscious and to be vigilant to be sober about the areas in our lives that cripple that create cracks and weaken the spiritual shield that you have created or loved us to have because of the word of the lord and may the parasite spirit that creeps into our lives may it be destroyed lord without our knowledge without our consciousness without us being conscious of it if you have allowed certain cracks and through which if this spirit that spirit has crept into our lives may that spirit be abolished by the precious blood of and the powerful blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth may let me as be fully conscious mindful alert day and night with the word of the lord and with an alert spirit in the name of Jesus amen